Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem. And in this battle report, we're going to be having battle four. Yep. Yeah. It's classed as battle three because of the one of the pre game, but this is the fourth game in our campaign series of the Death Watch taking on Dirty Dirty Eldar. Now, the mission that we're playing today is called the Four Pillars. We're basically stating that these are four pillars of psychic energy that the Imperium is trying to cipher, whereas the Elder are wanting to shut them down. This is found in Chapter Approved 2018, page 51. Now, we're playing it as a match player game, so 2,000 points per side. And the only change that we're doing to the actual mission, because basically at the end of each battle round, so sounds daft, but the player going second may have an advantage here. But at the end of each battle round, the person that controls most of the objectives can siphon the power. Uh, which means that if they controls, if one player controls more objectives than their opponent, they score one. And if they control all four, they score three. There's also something called no prisoners, which at the end of the battle round, a player scores one victory point if more units from the opponent's army were destroyed during the ba that battle round than from their own army. We're not doing it as units, we're going to do it as points. So what we'll do is, if it's for example, if it's like a 10 man squad or a 15 man squad, uh, we'll divide whatever points cost they were by 15 or 10, and that'll be points per model killed. So whoever gets the most points per model killed at the end, will get an additional victory point. First strike, Slay the Warlord, and of course Line Breaker is still in effect. Right, that should be enough for you guys to chew over while we have a look at some armies. Right, all right there, Luke. Yay! Hi, hi. <laughs> right, what dirty, dirty deeds have you brought for us today? This is 2,000 points, correct? 2,000 points, yeah. Yep. Quite heavy hitting infantry heavy list. Yep. Um, first up, we've got the Watchmaster in charge. Um, yep. A lot of hidden knowledge, Warlord trait, um, lets him have one extra reroll per turn and get stratagems back yep. on a 5 plus. Um, then we've got the. Um, Smash Captain, these are both the heroes from the campaign. Yeah. Uh, so he's made a triumphant return after he destroyed a, a bunker all by himself in the, the last game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Didn't get killed, surprisingly. No, so he's going to be sat in the sky. And then we've got uh, two identical squads here of uh, five intercessors, normal bolt rifles, yep. um, with five hell blasters. Okay, some anti tank. Some anti tank. And then behind those, we've yeah. got the big, nasty units that you might have seen already. So these are. Five intercessors with yeah. auto bolt rifles, yeah. and the sergeant has a power fist in each squad. Yeah. And there's four aggressors and an interceptor, so it makes it a T5 squad. That's pretty nice. And yeah, then, yeah, that, that worked really well, didn't it, last time around? Well, right? yeah, when you cast every single psychic power at a unit, it's brilliant. <laughs> and then, mm, they did um, die quick. They did die very quickly <laughs> when that happened, yeah. Um, and then to back it up a little bit, we've got two. Uh, Mortis Contemptor Dreadnoughts, yep. uh, heavy choices with Cyclone Missile Launchers, and then we've got uh, a lovely flyer which I've just finished painting, uh, Xiphon Interceptor, um, just for a little bit of funsies. New, nice new model syndrome, probably, it's probably going to get blown up. To hopefully, anyone. hopefully it will die. <laughs> uh, I'm but no, it's, for it to die. So it's a cool unit, uh, two sets of twin link last cannons, um, Xiphon Missile Battery, so yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, it's got quite a, quite a bit of punch, is that? Plus one against players. Yeah, I know. So it'll be pretty good against my tanks. Right, that's Luke's 2,000 points. Let's cut across to the awesome army that is Eldar. So this is the 2,000 point Elder Force that's going to be going up against him. This is two battalions. I've gone very psycho heavy with some Guardians and Rangers to try and take those objectives. But I haven't got a lot of Wave Serpents for once, which... Probably will be happy about, might not be happy about either, because he might be thinking to himself, I've taken over bloody hell blasters. Yeah. <laughs> now it's up to shoot. Right, starting with my main mm. warlord. This is the character, an Autark with a laser lance. Now, he's also got ion distance events as his warlord chart, and he's got the relic of Phoenix gem. Now he does have, this is from, because I've never used him before, so I'll go through some of the stuff that he's got. The custom character that we rolled, he ended up with improved sights, so his lance has got an extra six inch. <laughs> it's also an inferno round, so you don't get cover saves against it. Finely balanced, so each time he fights in combat with the lance, he gets an extra attack. Um, it's plus one wound, plus one leadership. He's got sundering shots, 
which means that every time he fires with the ranged weapon, if he gets a six to wound, six plus to wound, then he also inflicts one mortal wound on the target. So he's really good with that particular weapon. He's got Grudge, so he can reroll any hit, wound, and damage rolls made against Luke's Warlord. <laughs> and Strike and Fade, so he's quite, uh, quite. We decided that they could have eight. So with the Strike and Fade, they are allowed. Oh, where's it gone? There we go. Uh, in a fight phase, he can immediately pile in D3 plus 3 inch in any direction. Not just towards the closest enemy. So if he needs to get out there, he can do. If he needs to touch another unit to make sure that he can hit, he can do. What's really, really quite interesting, which, because Luke's not really used flyers a lot, or I've seen, you know, using flyers a lot, because he's got the keyword fly, he can charge your siphon in the Is that a fly keyword? Yeah, this is on a jet bike. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shoot him with my siphon. <laughs> so, your zyph he can actually charge your siphon. <laughs> <laughs> is, I've, never, I've not really come across that a lot in battle reports. Just I think if you can get it, get it to happen, jets and just ramps that'll off be, something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and throws his lance through it. <laughs> so these two guys here, that's my farce here for the campaign. Uh, he's allowed to take all three psychic powers. He gets plus one attack and plus one strength. Not really great, I'll be honest with you. And he's impervious, which means that he gets to re regain one wound at the start of every one of his turns. And because uh, he's the Warlord, he can't have his Relic unless I pay a command point for it. I'm not paying a command point for it. I'm not in this particular game. Then we've got the Relic Spirit Seer. He has Master of Law, so he gets an extra Psychic Power. He's also got Camouflage, which basically means that he adds two to his save instead of one. And he's also got Icon of Retribution, which means every time I die, a friendly unit within six is slain in the fight phase. On a six, the unit that made the attack and slew the model suffers one mortal wound after it's finished making its attacks oh, but well probably model slash unit and then just a standard spirit seer uh, which is a co old school conversion from an old far seer we've got eight warlocks one with one <laughs> lots of witch blades and we've got one singing spear i'll go through their powers in a moment they're back they're going to be basically oh pretty much nearly all the psychers eight nine ten eleven yeah they're all going to be loaded up into a lovely tank Lovely tank, uh, which has got uh, three shuriken cannons on this one. Plus, it also has a. Uh, oh, I'll know in a minute. It also has star engines, vectored engines, and spirit stones because I had to spend 20 points. No, why not? <laughs> so, <clears throat> filling out my troop choices, we've got three units of rangers, old school metal, new school resin, and then new school metal. Yes. So, when they converted them to them, I bought them, and then I brought them out, and I bought them second hand, which is why I'm not painted, so apologies. And then we've got three squads of Guardians. We've got two squads of 15, and one squad of 10. No weapons platforms. Which are, you seem to be like, hmm, no Good. weapons platforms. A hell of a lot of shuriken. It's probably because they're going to be running around like idiots. Yes. Then we've got eight Dark Reapers. They are taking one of the new x -Shark powers. Um, so, of course, the leader is going to be on uh, the one that gives him an extra shot. So, yeah. his, his rocket launches fires twice. Backing up a new school fire prism and an old school fire prism. Yay. One with the old school metal. That's ve that's actually, it isn't resin. It is all metal and plastic. So, it is very unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful moving that. And that came out when, I actually bought that when those figures came out. Wow. Yeah. They do need updating. So I possibly, after watching all these battle reports, I'll probably go, yeah, I kind of need to update a lot of my Eldar. But it's always going forward, never going right. backwards when it comes to your paint jobs. Right, some psychic power. So the main Farseer guy here, he's actually got um, one of the new ones instead of Smite. So he's got impaired sensors. So if he plays that on a unit with an 18, I think it only, can only target the closest enemy model yeah. unless that unit's within 18 inches. Yeah. So... That, the idea was to play that on your tanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it might get played on something else. He's also got Doom, Guide, and Fortune. Because he's allowed an extra power and he can cast an extra power. Yep. Doom and Guide, you already know. Oh, you love those. Yeah, they're great. Fortune allows <laughs> somebody to have a feel, five up feel no pain. Yeah, that's nice. Second one, Spirit Seer. So this one, because he can have an extra power, he's got the new, the new one from the um, Phoenix Rising book, Ghost Walk which adds two to a unit's charge range. Oh, very good. 
and he's also got quicken and reveal yeah. this guy here just another spirit seer he's got smite and protect yeah and then the big lads eight of them they've got um they've actually got smite protect and quicken and i believe they can cast two or three in a turn i'm not sure because I've got eight. It's very rare actually tech wall at Conclave, so it is a bit of a test. <clears throat> that is the psychic powers. We've already gone through with a little bit of the warlord chart. We've got the string on to determine where these objectives are. Let's get some dice rolled. Let's get set up. So this is the elder setup. I actually lost the result. Um so you picked hammer and anvil. Got it. And what I've basically done is made sure that a lot of my guys are nowhere near. And because I got to drop down first, I then decided who gets first turn. So I've decided that because the mission requires it to be objective controlling at the end of a battle round, yep. I'm going to go second. Uh, a lot of the rangers, I don't think Hammer and Anvil might not have been your thing on this one, but we will see. My rangers got then deployed one unit down here and two units in that building. Hopefully no one can see them. Right then. Here we're going to turn one. So, what's Luke done on his movement? Not a lot. Well, he's shuffled these two guys across because they're not going to be able to get in range. They've bunched up. They've bunched up. And that's moved its minimum 20 inches. It is 20 inches 20 minimum, inches, isn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, the internet's going to shout at me. Let me check. Yeah, forward. <laughs> um, <laughs> having a look, 48 inches. It's probably going to be able to have range of some of these. Uh, I have played yeah. two command points. Luke has played three command points to deploy. Two. He played two, didn't you? Two command points for two units. He's having a look now. His range of one of the weapons is 60. The other one is 48. Yeah, but I have range. played two command points to count all of my army as in cover. I've mainly done it to try and protect my tanks. Yes. I did it before. I have to do it before he moves. Right. What are you doing? Well, it's a toss-up at the minute. Do I shoot a wave serpent because that's got all your psychers in it and keep them further downfield so they have to foot slog a little bit? Okay. Or do I shoot a uh, fire prism and stop your linked fire shenanigans? The internet might kick me for this decision, but I'm going to shoot the wave serpent. Okay. I'm going to play two command points. I have not actually got my thingy, but I'm going to play two. I think it's two for lightning fast uh, reflexes, which means it's going to be minus one to hit. Yeah. Um, I can't remember where it is. Ah, lightning fast reactions. It is two command points. And I don't, because I need a six, I don't get any of my command points back so far. Putting me down to nine. So, at the moment, because the reason I've done that is because that Xyphon Interceptor against other units with a fly keyword gets a plus one to hit. Yes, it does. So, and it doesn't have any negative modifiers for moving and firing heavy weapons. Nope. So I'm guessing everything's coming into that. Yep, so we'll do the four last cannons first. Four last cannons first. Now we need threes. Now we need threes. So One miss. three hits. We need threes again. Threes, two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. So I need fives because I'm counted as being in cover. Nope. And I didn't get any. No damage. So 2d6 damage. Minus one to each. So that will be three, three and four. four. Seven. seven. So seven. Uh, spirit stones. I saved two, so I take. I'll put a five next to that tank at the moment. So I've taken five. Now he's got heavy free weapon. Yep. That's it. All hit. All hit. I so think my it's fast reactions. Six. It is. You need fives. I've just. Yeah. I have checked. I'm not sure what the minus is. No. None. none. So you've taken five off that. Uh, I believe they start on 13. And the only other unit that could fire with these guys have fired eight last cannons. Yeah. <laughs> Into these, minus one for moving, minus one for rangers, and basically managed to kill three of them. I've already done my morale, they're still fine. So they're gonna be holding on to some lovely objectives this particular turn. Right. Lightning fast reactions now come off. I am now on I've got nine command points left. Not a lot happened there on turn one, so now we're gonna be going on to Elder turn one. It's taken me a while. <laughs> <laughs> a very long time I have had to think about my movement so these guys have kind of shimmied to make sure there's an area denial zone for nine inches them two have stayed still they've shimmied to try and create an area denial zone of nine inches these guys have moved forward I've already done my psychic phase so these guys have run out of a tank as well and they're 
the plate shear council, just need to take that off. So they're protected. They've also restrained that so it's half speed. I have uh, advanced that one so it's minus one to hit. I did play protect on them, so they're plus one invulnerable save. Quickened that unit up front so they're now in that little bit of a building. Hopefully, not many people can see them, or if any can see them. I'm trying to minimise the amount of firepower that's going to come towards them. Yeah. And we're going to be moving on to some shooting. I've also guided these. But it was out of range to do that. So. I'm going to start by firing these. Three of them can see. We've already checked. I need to check range. I'm going to try and fire three of them at that. So yep. All three of these guys at the front are in range. We're going to fire the strength eight, uh, minus two and three damage yep. uh, missiles. Uh, needing freeze I believe so. I just, I because it's dark reapers ignore modifiers yeah, it's seven, it? um, so no I'm saying freeze oh, to hit freeze to hit, yeah. hit. re-rolls for guy two hits freeze to wound oh my god man the dice have come back to haunt me <laughs> they gave me a good game last game on the recording the but they have failed me now. Failed me now. <laughs> right. Fire prisms, I'm going to do last because the way the prism thing work, runs and works, it's probably best off doing that. So I'm going to fire some rangers. Right. So that was a bit anticlimactic because my dice rolls then were terrible. Two hits. Come on, guys. Right. Command point spent on the linked. Do I get it back? Oh. No, I don't get it back. Uh, right. So I'm down to six. Hell do I always seem to spend command points real quick. They're both stood still, so I'm gonna fire a single shot, which is strength 12. Yep. And uh, lots of minuses and d6 damage. But I need fours. Because you're minus one because you're a flyer. Can I can't. Okay, oh. Cocked. Two hits. Yeah. Two hits. Not what I was looking for. Freeze to wound. Both wounded. So you can't save this because a massive minus. And that will be 12 damage, sir. That's impressive. And I'm not quite sure how many he's got left. He's dead! Does it explode? Do you want me to roll? Yeah, go on. Yes, it does! You just dropped that dice, didn't even roll. Didn't even move. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll re-roll it. Got a wand. All right. It says him that, that does that. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll my dice. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's gone. Oh, new model syndrome. That, new model syndrome straight off. I even cast a psychic power and yeah. have to try and limit it. Not sure. Wow, well done, Fire Prisms. Well First done. kill of the game. I do get a VP for that. Oh, yeah. And um, kill points wise, you didn't really. It's 60 points for a squad of Rangers. Yeah. So per model. But it, it didn't. It'll be 13. Yeah, no. It's... Well, is it 13? Well, it's about roughly just over 10, isn't it? Yeah, so, right. So, end of that battle round. I've got two objectives. I've got two You've objectives. got two objectives. You Nobody wins. For... But I get a VP for killing. And first strike. And for first strike. So, at this end of battle round one, the Eldar are up two points. Now, this is going to now depend on what Luke can do in Absolutely. turn two. Okay, another long, take those nine inches away, another long deliberation on what to do on the actual turns here. Um, so it looks, these guys have come thundering in from deep strike. Then we've got these guys that ran forward, Watchmasters ran forward and one of the Contemptors ran forward as well to try and keep up with his brother. One of the brothers trying to hide away from these fire prisms. Um, these lads have shimmied forward. And then he's not going to bring anything else in. He's currently gone down to the toilet, which is why I'm talking. So we'll bring it in. Well, it needs to be a shooting phase. Right, so what are you shooting with first, sir? We'll shoot this uh, Contemptor yep. that didn't advance. Okay. Um, he'll shoot at these guys with the rocket launcher. Okay. And he'll shoot at your uh, Dark Reapers. With the last cannon. With the last cannons. So All right, sir. We'll do the last cannons first. No problem. You've moved, so it's oh. going to be freeze. Uh, yep, re rolling. Are you rolling any ones? Don't need to. Nope. 
Two's a wound. Two's a wound. All wounds. All wound. That's four wounds against these guys. So I've got my dice. Uh, three up normally. I'm in cover. So fives. And I saved two. Two go down. Oh, look, two of the closest. So, <laughs> and then your rockets, sir, into these. You're probably best off we. Well, either or. Uh, so it's firing for two shots, freeze. needing having two. No, nope, you need. I need threes. You need fours. Oh, need Minus fours. one for the ranger unit. Can I reroll those? Um, ones and twos. No, because normally you'd need twos to hit. Yeah. So then you reroll, it fails, yeah. and then you apply your modifiers. So you'd need, you could at the moment, you could only reroll your ones. But you would still need fours because of the minus one for your movement yeah. and minus one because it's rangers. So they didn't hit. Yeah, they didn't hit. Next up. Next up is. But we're uh, going to be looking at some what type of ammunition to use here, aren't you? This is this is going to be this is going to be. I think we'll go for. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not in range. But I can check. <laughs> pretty sure it's not in range of a hell blaster. It's twenty now. Um, thirty for a hell blaster. Is it thirty? For, for a standard rapid fire one. So he's going with these guys. Yep. He's firing the hell blasters into these. He's firing the normal rounds. He's busting the six and adding another minus one into these guys here. So the hell blasters are going with them first. Yep. So um, actually, apologies, my fault. Everything is going into this squad of five. <laughs> so hell blasters first. Yeah. So what do we say? Two, four, six, eight. So it's eight. Three, and eight. Does he have a nine inch radius? Uh, six, but he's just in range because of that back guy. Right up on. It's forced to hit because of rangers. You yeah. can't re-roll your freeze. Nope. Okay. But that is a lot of hits. So it's only twos that's no needed. Twos and I can re-roll ones with the troops, aren't they? They are troop choices, yes. Ooh, it's yeah. a good job you've killed them. Yeah. So that's a lot of bolt rounds into something that's not there. So this unit's now going to be firing. They've advanced, but they've got aggressors in the unit, so therefore we don't have the modifiers. Is that correct? Correct. So, these two intercessors are in range of these two rangers, so they're going to fire at them. They're going to need fours because of the rangers, and then the rest of them are in range of these rangers, so they're going to fire at them. He's actually using the special eight plus a six inch mine and an extra minus one, doesn't yes, it? So, that'll be six shots then against them, needing fours, and it can reroll ones yep. and ones to freeze. Reroll one to freeze for the uh, guy. Oh, it didn't really help much. So it didn't help. Still oh. only two hits, but it's enough. It's enough. It does need freeze. So two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Minus one. I'm on plus two, so it's five, three, it's fours. Nine. And they're both saved. Ding, ding. And then the rest of the guys will gather some dice. So we're going to do intercessors first. Nine shots coming up at these. Again, needing fours, re rolling anything that's ones and twos. So the re rolls at the moment, not generating additional hits. You need threes. Three rolling ones. Nope. So three wounds against those guys. Minus Again, one. needing a four. I did lose two. I'm going to take two of the closest off. Let's do 46 grenade shots. Let's see what we get. So we get uh, six, seven, eight, eleven. Eleven grenades. Three rolling ones and twos. That's a good stream of hits. Uh, no minus, but it's strength for the toughness three, right? Uh, yeah, toughness three, so you need threes. Rerolling ones. Oh. So far, you re rolling the ones, it's not done much. Right, so that's three, six, seven. No minus. Yes, but it's my dice rolls, sir. Yep. And at the moment, as we found out, my dice yep. currently are not liking me in this game. So I lost two. One left. One guy left well, remaining. Left. They've actually continued opening fire and they've managed to take out the second unit of rangers. So at the moment, I'm down two units of rangers and we've got this blob squad here to fire now. This is going to be a bit awkward and tricky. I think Luke's got uh, multiple different ideas of this. Oh, yeah. um, let's just, uh, let me have a second. Okay, right, so he's decided what he's doing. He's going to be wounding on twos with his special issue ammo. So all of his... You say all of these within 24. All the intercessors are going to shoot. are going to shoot at these guys. All the aggressors, plus him, I'm yeah. guessing, are going to shoot into the guardians. Yes. Right, which one's first and So you do the intercessors. Yeah. Uh, 15 shots. 15. Three shots each. Yeah. Into them, uh, hitting on threes. Threes, yeah. 
Three rolling ones, ones because you put your captain down. There's another one in there, mate. Oh, yeah, there you put your captains down. Okay, so the twos go away. And then you're needing twos to wound. Yep. And the troops? Nope, heavy support choice. All wounds. No re roll, that's bad. We've counted them up, it's 11 saved, they are in cover. I lost one, two, three. Ah. One point one of them? No. Lose three. Out of the remaining shots, he hit the Guardians. The Guardians have only got four men left. He's now deciding with ease. He's going to charge these guys. So, I'm going to sit here and cry for a bit. Two other watch shots. No. Now, I'm, I'm in craters and woods. No. No, he's got a four in need and an 11. So he's not going to be able to claim that objective from me this particular turn. Just trying to figure out where the rest of the objectives are to see whether or not I can claim them. Mmm. Needs to be troop choices that claim it as well. What do I do with these? Do I let them run? Six CP left, right? For you? Six command points left. You've not spent any so far. Now they're going to be able to hold that. Still got two squads of troops in there. I've got nothing to do with it. I can't do anything about that. No. Or, or that, so. so it's it's whether or not I look at killing stuff. So far, this particular turn looks killed this lot. So we'll count up how many points they are at the end, and it just depends on how many points of his I manage to slaughter. If I manage to slaughter any. That's the thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna let them die. So they'll run off. Gonna be painful. Right, I did actually suffer quite a lot there. Also, I need to have a morale on these guys. I lost five of them there, okay. They're still standing. These are gonna be a pain in my bottom. <laughs> it's whether or not certain things is gonna be able to annihilate them, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Right, let's go into Elder turn two. So Elder movement wise, these two have stayed still, they've kind of stayed on that objective, just trying to hold it for the moment. These have shimmied forward a little. Warlocks uh, Sorry to go upside down, but inside there, they've cast some powers. We've managed to smite six wounds on these guys. So an aggressor's gone, a normal intercessor, and one on one wound. That powered forward. So that's going to be minus one to hit. These guys move forward, then move forward again, <laughs> taking this objective from Luke at the end of this particular round. And they've also got protect on them. I did manage to reveal them as well, but I didn't cast any jinx on them. Yep. Which is a bit of a shame, because that would have been nice to be able to just go, Hey, you can't minus one to your save. But never mind. But I didn't manage to cast guide, but we have got do we are doomed yep. as well. So, I'm going to start the shooting by firing this lad into these. Needing threes to hit, because I'm Eldar, so I can advance with no negative modifiers to my assault weapon. And I get to reroll ones because I'm Beltan. I'll reroll that one again because it's cocked. Nope. So unfortunately, I failed. So they get five hits, but it's freeze to wound with rerolls. Yeah, um, I'm strength six. Oh, yeah. So no minuses. You don't get cover, but it's five wounds. Five wounds, no cover? No, yeah, I revealed you, didn't I? Oh, God. Uh, so I lost two. So two wounds. wounds have gone through. Um, which one has to go on him. Yeah. Past it. So he's dead. I'm going to re-roll one of them. He's going to re-roll one of them. Yeah. Save. But still, he's still he's, dead. He's still dead, but I don't think I put a wound on somebody else. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Two rangers. Into these. And they both missed. Right, so these guys are going to open fire now with seven in range of these. And then the other three are going to fire into those guys. Luke's got his dice in the way, you bugger. So 14 shots. Needing threes, re-rolling ones. Nah, still didn't convert any of them to hits. I think fives to wound, but re-rolls. Because you're doomed. So, that would be four normal armor saves with no cover. And then two with minus three. So four. Four normal. So 
Two go through. Two go through. Who's that going on? So that's going on another intercessor. And then three, sir. Uh, number two, sorry, with a minus of three. Sixes. So no. Is that another intercessor? Um, no. He's just Charging. gone down. How many intercessors? Oh, all right, okay. Um, so then um, that's going to go on to an aggressor. An aggressor. So the aggressors are now being wounded. Yep. So he's got one wound left, not two, Anthony. Yeah. Three wounds. Uh, two wounds have gone through. Two wounds. The last guy. Yeah. The next one on him. You failed two. Hang on. Yeah, we've corrected it. He's on one. And then the other guys are firing their three into them. Um, that's five hits and no re rolls on these. But this again, these are five. Just one wound, sir. Um, not all you have men are in cover, so it's a straight three. Yep. Yeah, fine. All right. What else can I fire at these? Right, so the Autark is now opening fire into these. Um, he's going to be firing the Shuriken cat Catapults first. Needing twos, re-rolling the ones. None. You're still on toughness five, aren't you? Yeah. No need for re-rolls there. Well, yep, yeah, re-roll on that one. Nope, so that's one normal armour and two saves of six, sir. One normal armour, fine. And two saves of six. No, so he goes down and you put a wound on somebody else. And then I've got a laser lance to come. So we're going to put a wound on the... Um... And now we've got the laser lance coming in. Needing a two. It hits. Needs a three. Fails to wound, but you're doomed. It's got it. It's a minus of four and two damage. No save, so he's dead. So he's going to pop his clogs. A hell of a lot of damage on one squad there. I think Luke might be doing a. Uh... Took the entire army, it, it's true, it's true, <laughs> but it needs to be done. So these guys, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna fire. Right, so we're looking at the strength eight shots. That's for the Orta. That's for the X Shark. Sorry, X Shark failed with one. Needing freeze, re-rolling. Now re-roll. Right, so that's a cock dice, and that's still wounded. So them two are minus two. Yep. Straight three damage. Fives. Oh. Yeah, can't be wrong. Yeah. One. So straight three. Straight three, so I'll, yeah, another. And then this yeah. one's a minus two and D6 yep. damage. So who's it going on? Oh, well, yeah, yeah him. Okay. Him, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, no. For six. So he's That's gone as well. So just the sergeant left alive there. So he's down to one guy left there. I still can't save cover. <laughs> and he's still doomed. The fire prism has spent a command point. Do I get it back? No. So I'm down to two command points now. We're going to fire both cannons. I'm just going to do them together. We're going to fire into the squad in the open here. They're going to fire the D3 shot strength nine. So it's going to be four D3s because they fire twice a piece. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. Yep. Nine shots, needing freeze, re-rolling. That's a cock oh, dice. Hmm? You spent get... a command point. Oh. Link fire, my friend. All hit. Right, this is where it gets weird. Needing freeze to wound. Re-rolls for twin link for link fire. All wounded, minus four, no saves. D3 damage, so I will get the D3s out now because that's just to make it better. But because there's multiple difference, yeah. we're gonna have to declare which one's which, right? So the first this is gonna be nine times. So the first one, what am I hitting? Uh, the intercessor closest, intercessor closest. He suffers two damage, Sorry. so he's dead. Yep. Next one. Next intercessor closest. Next intercessor closest. One. So the next one will be another at least minimum one, which yeah. has to go on him. Yep. So, so that's dies. three gone so far. So I've got another three of these. Next one. Uh, it'll be. Um, it will be. Oh, I'm deciding now. There's six more wounds to allocate. It'll be this. Radio. A one. one. So the second one is a three, which then takes him out. I'm knocking terrain everywhere and getting too excited. So I've still got one left on this three, so there's still another four wounds. So this next one? Yep, uh, that will go on um, 
Yeah, this guy. That intercessor there for three. So he's gone. So another three wounds remaining. Yep. Next one. Um, it'll be on this guy. That guy for two. He's still got one left. Too. So that will take that to one. That will kill him. Yep. So one wound remaining, sir. Which will go on uh, this guy. It's going to go on that guy there. That takes him out. Yeah. It's a lot of squad dead there. Six dead. Six dead. Leadership nine. Leadership eight. Eight. Leadership's eight. Hang on. Right. I've got charges and that to do, yeah. yep. So I might actually kill more. Um, so any charges, I'm not going to bother down here, but he's definitely going to charge into them. And because of the higher distant events, he cannot be overwatched. Morale wise, are you rolling for, are you doing anything with him? Is he just going to go? He's just going to go. Yeah. He's just going to go. So he's gone yeah. for morale because he lost too many figures. Yeah. Right. They've lost six. So it's D6 plus six. Yeah. And then you get to re roll it. So I need a two. No, not two plus. You do? Top five. So you're going to lose two models. Oh, no, yeah. That's right. I got that all the way around. Yeah. Um, you're going to lose two models unless you re roll. But you might lose more. <laughs> <laughs> I should have spent secret to keep them from me. You should have done. I thought I, I thought I needed. Yeah, I just thought I got. I get that good. No. You lost two models out of that squad. Yeah. Right. So, looking at this, we counted up the points. I've actually beat him by 100. It's about 129 points over. Yeah. So I've scored the VP for most units destroyed, and I've also scored a VP for having more objectives than he does because I've got three, and he's got two. So I've used Elder Shenanigans. Yeah. And they've managed to sort of get me in there to be honest so that takes me up to four and luke is on zero still right sir we'll do your turn let's see what we can do you've still got a unit that can come in from reserve cool. so you've still got models you've still got models to, to bring in two normal intercessors they're quite large units and they can take a hit and i'm vastly running out of uh, command points quite rapidly so Let's go into Marines turn turn two, is it for you? Three. Turn three. So the second unit come in where the first one was yeah. absolutely annihilated. <laughs> but we'll see what happens we'll on that. On this. Um mm, do I spend two command points and shoot them actually? Is no. it in twelve? Uh, no, what it is, the Farseer, if the Farseer can see the unit, you can elect a unit within six to fire. Oh. But it's two command points, I've only got two left, so I think I'm going to ignore that for now. Yeah. And then, of course, these Contemptors moved up, they look like they're trying to uh, tag some boys down here. They are now within range. Right then, sir, what are you going to fire with first? Uh, I'll do this Contemptor. Yeah, and they've stood still, by the way. That Contemptor, yeah? Yeah, they're staying there. Uh, I'll do this Contemptor at... Uh, splitting fire, so it's last cannons going into the fire prism, yep. and its rockets are going into the wave circle. No problem, sir. So we'll do the wave, uh, do the rockets first. Yep, he gets to re-roll the ones because he's moved, so he's needing freeze, but it's he's two, two shots. Count. Into. Two shots for two shots per last cannons. Uh, no, I'm doing the rockets. Oh, the rockets. You're doing the rockets first. Yep. Go on, then, sir. So can, you re can re-roll that one. Yep. Two hit. Strength. Um, it's eight. So you've got one wound, you can't re-roll that. I can re-roll that. No, no, the, no you've ch chose heavy. That's oh, a no, transport. That's serpent. Yes, you can yeah, right. so you can't, you can't re-roll that. So one through. Yeah. What's the minus? Uh, stuff. Four, three, two. <laughs> uh, one, six. Roll it, I'll get back to you. <laughs> two, so I need a five. No. D6 damage? D6 damage. For two. For two, max it one because of Wave Serpent Shield. Uh, yeah, okay. Actually, I forgot to knock you down at five command points. Apologies, because yeah. you've re-rolled. So, Wave Serpent Shield just lets one through, and it doesn't save, so he's currently down to seven damage on that vehicle. I get that command point back, I draw the flag. Oh, right, yep, so he gets the command point back. Right, next one. Um, and then the four last cannons into that guy. Yeah, I'm going to play the... Um, He's thinking, he's thinking. He's playing a thing. He's playing a thing. He's playing a thing, ladies and gentlemen. He's playing Malleus Doctrine. Two command points gone down. He's already got one back, so he can't get another... In fact, I'll put a marker next to it. So he can't get another one back for this battle round. Because in, in, yeah, in match play, you can only get one back per battle round. Yep. So, four. I'll hit. Yeah, it has, unfortunately for me. 
Uh, so they're wounded on twos now. Wounded on twos because of the malleus. They all wounds. They're all wounds. There was no point in that. <laughs> there you go. Sixes to save. I didn't get any. This is bad. Or D6. Six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's enough to kill it. But I do have spirit stones. Well, re-roll the one damage. So he's gonna re-roll the one damage. To oh, one! To one, brilliant! So he's down to three command points. Again, yeah, can't yeah. get any back. I've got 12 dice to pick up. So I've got 12 here in my hand. I save one, Ooh. which means that that is on one wound left. So the next set is these. These guys are going to fire five hell blasters into this. Yep. And then the rest of them are going to fire because it's using the plus six inches, which makes them 18 inch rapid fire yep. into these guys. Right, and sir. So the hell blasters, are you overcharging? Yeah, might as well. I've lost okay. enough stuff. No I problem. <laughs> yeah. You get uh, to reroll your ones because you died here. Yeah, so So dies. thankfully it doesn't die, but it doesn't it doesn't hit. Now at the moment they can only re-roll ones on troop choices. Correct, yep. Uh, so that is So that would be strength eight versus toughness seven. Toughness seven. That's gonna be six wounds through. So if I can roll six sixes, I'm alive. Oh, oh, you got two. oh I got two. Never mind. Do I explode? No. Right. So the fire prism death currently running low. So 10 bolt rounds now into these guys, re rolling the ones. No ones. <laughs> no ones, couple of twos. Uh, these are not, these are heavy support. So you yeah. can't re roll. So you need threes. Right. Re roll that one there, mate. That's cold. There you go. And so you've got five. Five. Five ones against these three. Minus of two, is it? Minus of two. Oh dear! That's oh dear. three, so that will be them two dead and the X shark on one wound left. So he's gonna fire these guys now. They're gonna fire into these. And I've actually played Celestial Iron Shield, so uh, they're now gonna have a free up invulnerable save with protect. Yep, um, yep, pretty much all of them are in rapid fire. So got 10 shots, needing freeze. I don't think you're within re -rolls. six. No, that's a lot of misses. That is a lot of misses, roll. actually. I shouldn't have, I'm starting to think I shouldn't have played that command point. Um, freeze to wounds, so three wounded. Yep, minus two. One say one failed. Wow. And then you've got your rest. Five plasmas coming in. Not overcharging. Nope, it would be no. stupid to do so. Two's to wound. Yep. That's four again. He's not overcharging, so this is one damage. There's a fortune on the squad as well. I did roll that off camera and I failed. So three up in one. Two's gone through. Two another two's gone. So I've lost three so far. There we are. Okay. Uh, so then there's the one plasma shot into this squad. Yep, one plasma shot into that squad. It, it hits. Is. And it murderizes one of them. So these two guys have actually just opened fire. Because he stood still, it's firing twice. Slammed into these, that is actually that many. It's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. Was it one, two, three, four, eleven? So I need three ups. Ooh, five gone through. And he only saved one more. That's another four of them down. That's not good. So, this guy is going to now fire the captain, because he's now the closest, due to what I've taken off. He's now going to fire into him. Yep, hit him twos. That's Reroll that, cops. yeah, yeah. Reroll Re roll. yourself. Yep, two. Yep, so two. Uh, two wound is, twos. Yep. Uh, I'm a HQ. Can't re -roll. Yep. No, it's so one, so one wound. wound. It's a minus of two. Minus of two, yep. I saved. saved Four pin one. Okay. So he's good. He's good. So what we got left to fire? Not a lot, just this dreadnought. That dreadnought, yes. That, yeah, it is that dreadnought. It's decided, everything from there, yep. it's going to fire at this guy. Yep. So go on then, sir. So on freeze, can I move? Uh, Rerolling. Can't re-roll them because you moved, it's a minus one. They were, they were twos. It's stupid. <laughs> it's a stupid one. Um, it is, that's why we corrected it. Wounding on twos. Because it's space marines. Oh. Only one wound. Can I re-roll that one? Come on. Um, I've used one. Re, you've, yeah, you've, you've used, used one. Damage roll, yeah. You did. Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't. I didn't pass. That's bad. So, so D6, D6 damage. damage. Or six. I think he might be dead. He's actually taken six damage, but because it's yeah. the character in the campaign, he's got plus one wound and plus one leadership. So he's still got the wounds left. The rockets are coming in. On threes. One hit, one, hit, one miss, can't re-roll. Re -roll. Uh, one or two still, so yeah, wounds. Uh, yeah, what strength was that? Eight. It's strength eight, is it? Yeah. I'll just double check. Good idea. Right, so it did need twos. Ah! Failed to save! Do I command point this roll? Ooh. I haven't used any so far. It's going to have to be. It's saved! It's alive! Woohoo! Back. No. So I've run out of command points. So, we've skipped forward, we're now in the assault phase. This guy has actually managed to avoid any hits, he's combated both vehicles and that. So he's going to put two, he's got four attacks on profile, plus one attack because of a character trait that he's got, plus another attack for oh, being a space marine, so you've attacks. got six. Okay, so I'll put four into the wave serpent and two so into the So four wave. attacks into the wave serpent, two attacks into the men. Which one first? Two attacks into men, on three, so you're rolling ones. <laughs> Brilliant. So, right, so one hit. I think I'm going to command point that. Can command point it, yeah. So it hits. It does we'll hit. Point back. Yeah. Yes. Yes, so, right, no, you can't because you've already got one back this oh, yes, battle round. Yes, quite right, quite right. Anyway, quite so it's wounded down. on twos. Yep. Yeah, so they're both wounded. So the both, they're both, I believe they're both dead. Yeah, and then you've got ridiculous. four attacks against the tank. Four attacks against the tank. Uh, re rolling the one. So they've all hit. Yeah. Wounding on. Strength fight, you need threes. Threes. They all wound. Oh, Jesus. And it's all a right. minus of three, so I'm going to have some sixes to save. Saving throws. I got no sixes. Because of the artificial weapon, this gets plus one damage. So that's four, eight, 12, 16 wounds <laughs> on the wave serpent. Um, I've definitely failed all the saves, as you can probably guess. There was a lot. I didn't bother recording it. Do I explode though? I do! Yay. That's not good. The vehicle did explode. It's never a good thing. So it's D3 to everything within six. So your captain suffers a wound. So he's probably going to be down because he's a Primaris captain. I think he's going to be no, down to. Oh, yeah, he's the normal one, isn't he? Yeah. It's Primaris chaplain model. That's what's confusing me there, mate. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then are you going to uh, roll for mine? Can do. So let's just work his way left. in. So this guy on the end. So the spirit's here. Three. For three. And then your, your main Far man. Seer. Two. Now he can actually ignore mortal wounds on a fire oh, roll. There you go. Doesn't no. roll any. So he suffers two. So three and, and two. Spirit seer, whatever. And then my warlocks. Uh, D3. Two. For two. Which will actually kill a warlock. That's not good. Pretty much at the end of the turn there. And I'm going to have to roll for morale. Now they lost seven, so this is quite important. And normally, <laughs> when I want to roll low, I roll high. I got a one. That's a cock. Is it? Could you bounce the dice on top of it? Look at look at him. He's, he's <laughs> trying to pull <laughs> straws. Everything, everything I can get. He's trying to pull straws. Typical. Right. Uh, we interrupt this movement phase because that captain's gone way. And then he's gone, no, this dreadnought for two command points is going to open fire on you. And I'm like, no! So go on then, sir. So we're just rolling everything together. Yep. So. One, one. so the two's a miss because it's a minus one. Yep. You need hit. two's to wound. And you oh. can't re-roll. And now we've got three dice rolls needing fours to save. No. So now his phoenix gem will kick in. So every unit within three inches, so that's probably going to be them, him and them, I've all the dice for. So that one, yep, and them. Yes, so both of them suffer D3 mortal wounds. So I'll get me D3s, these are D3 dice, yep. against the dread. Three mortal wounds against those guys. One mortal wound. And he gets back up with one wound remaining. But his phoenix gem is now exhausted. I've shifted round, shimmied a little, but I'll be honest, it's not looking good. Farsi has recovered a wound, but I lost another one of these guys to perils. Did manage to take out four mortal wounds on them, but yeah. <laughs> I tried to restrain these and failed, but they have protected themselves, so they have got a free up in-run save. Um, 
I tried to cast Guide, I failed. I tried to cast Doom, I failed. <laughs> the only thing I managed to cast is Impair Sensors, which is one of the new ones, which is going to limit them to like an 18 inch range, effectively. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, they're not going to be able to shoot at my glorious, glorious tank. Yep. Glorious tank. So, what should we shoot with first? Right, next up is this guy. So, I'll do a fight now. In fact, I'll fire the Guardians first. So you guys know actually, I have fired with him. He caused a wound on those and didn't do anything to the Contemptors. So these guys are now going to open fire into these. Need not freeze. Are you rolling any ones? Nope, that's a two as well. And now we're going to need fours. Because I didn't cast any powers on him. So... And you are in cover, so that's going to be three saves with your cover of two, and then two more saves with the minus of three. So, so that's going to be three saves of two, two saves of three plus on your three hammer. Three saves of two. Oh, one goes. So one goes two. through. Yeah, yeah, one goes. Through. One goes through. And then two saves of three. Two saves of three. Changes his dice for the weighted ones. Oh no. That's a two so he's lost his another two wounds. So he's down to two left remaining. Ah. Oh. What do I do? What do I do? Because that could fire at him as well. I've decided the fire prism with Shuriken Cannon and the Prism Cannon is going to fire into him. Shuriken Cannon first. Be rolling the ones. Needing freeze. One save, two up. Yep. And then two D3 shots with the Prism Cannon. Three. It's not what I wanted. I wanted more than that. Freeze to hit. All hit, strength nine. Freeze the wound. It's cocked. Yep. All wounded. I'm gonna do this with your saves, right? <laughs> Three ups. Two go through. He's dead. He's gone down again in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he's gone. So this guy then can fire two rockets. Into the wounded already, uh, into the wounded contemptor. One hit, need the three. It's wounded, minus two. It's fives. Five, it's got five up in one. Uh, no, it's gone through. Two, it's gone through. D6 damage six. for six. Wow, one left. Takes it down to one. That's pretty good. Right, so through the power of cheese. Epic cheese. Epic cheese. I've managed to get into combat with these two. And not suffer any overwatch because he was within an inch of that door. Winters would be proud of this. <laughs> and I've managed to charge both squads with him when he can't be overwatched. So then it stops their overwatch and then they've charged in to try and give them a beatdown. Right. Now we understand where everyone is. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll get going. Uh, you can't interrupt. Did manage to kill him. He cannot interrupt, so we're just going to do all my combats first. Right. Going to go with your attack first. He's going to put two of his attacks against the Marines. And three of his attacks against the Dread. So he needs twos, that's what Marines. I get to reroll ones because I'm within six inches of myself. So it's all hit. Now I need threes and fives. Oh wow. Right, so the special weapon that he has, any sixes cause a mortal wound. So that Dreadnought's dead regardless. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, see whether or not it explodes. Uh, well, cocked. <laughs> no, thank God for that. <laughs> and then the Marines two die, and then there's one mortal wound, and they haven't got a wound. On, they have got a wound on them already. Yeah. So the mortal wound is first, which will kill one, which kills him, and then two die. Uh, no, leave him in. He stays in combat. It doesn't because I can consolidate D3 plus 3, which I'm going to then get into both dreads to try and shut him down. Hopefully he survives any attacks back. Actually, no, because that dread's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, no attacks back from him. So then he does a 5-inch move and then consolidates into this dread to try and stop it from shooting. It will be able to strike me back. I'm hoping it's weakened state. It won't be able to do anything. That one's not weakened. Right. 
Oh, and yeah, but I mean, it's got no close combat weapons. That's what I meant by weakened state. Oh, yeah. No, no, right, no. so consolidation with these. Right, the warlocks with the witch blades. I'm, I'm risking this. I'm risking good dice rolls from me, bad, bad dice rolls from you. So freeze to hit. Reroll the ones. Only one. And that turns into a two. If anyone watched some days of WCW and that was only Sting yeah. and he didn't look that good. <laughs> Two's to wound. Right, so that's that's gonna be six wounds, sir. What's so I'm um, probably minus? not uh, no minus. Oh no so minus. So just whatever your armor is. Three of them. Yeah, I've done what I did was I tried to jinx him and I shouldn't have done. Oh! Ooh, yes. Three, four! Four go through. D3 damage apiece. The first one is a two, it kills one. Yep. Second one kills yep. one. Yep. That's two down. The third one yep. kills another. The fourth one. No, he's wounded. So three dead and one on one wound. Ooh, that's bad. Pretty good result there. That was a very good result. Uh, right, attacks back. Dreadnought. Yeah, let's do these first. Oh, them first. So they get, what, two, uh, Sarge so gets... Sergeant gets three attacks. So that's four with Shock Assault. Yeah, and then the other guy gets two attacks plus one for Shock Assault. So he's not within six, but it's three to hit. Jesus. My dice have betrayed me. They have. Three to wound, sir. Only one. Well, is it, it's enough to kill one. Three up in one. Yep. Whip. Oh dear. Dreadnought. And then the dread, he wasn't declared a target of the charge, so he doesn't get a plus one. So that's for four attacks. Attack. Right, he's actually got four attacks. I thought they might have had like two of them used to Leviathans when they've got no combat weapons and drop yeah. all the attacks. Oh yeah. wow. So four that's... attacks on two, re rolling. Yep. Yeah. watch this. That's really the train me today. Um, oh god. Mm. Wounding on uh, freeze. freeze. So I'll wound. Oh Jesus. No minuses, so I'm going to be on threes to save. Yep. I don't look. Damn it! That's a warlord kill. Yeah. And he's gone down. That's not what I wanted. Because I wanted him. Maybe I shouldn't have consolidated in. Maybe I should have just consolidated near him. Yeah. And been like, hey, shoot me next. Which probably is going to give you two points this turn. Yeah. But... Morale. Morale is important. It is a thing. Morale on those guys. So, we started with nine. One had already been dead, right? Or was it a full squad of ten when we started the turn? I can't remember. It was a full squad. So, we've lost... You've lost eight. Oof. Jeez. So, let's see. Yeah. So, you've lost six. You get to re-roll that, because it's Marines. Used to be a one. Nope. Nope. So, that whole squad is gone. Okay. All right. I think what we're going to do, we're going to take stock and we're going to have a look. So at the end of that one, Luke scores a point for killing more more points than I did. Uh, so he scores a VP and he's killed a Warlord. So he's on two. I've got an objective. He has none at the end of that. He has moved them figures before I've got to do this. Um, so I score another point there. So currently, it's 5-2 in favour of me. And we're going to go to see what's going to happen in Luke's turn four. Right guys, so, because they can barely shoot anything, Luke has decided rather than trying to run forward, because he would need at least two turns to get on there, and then he'd suffer their wrath. So he's basically going, no, what they need to do is to try and get on this one. So he's fallen back, He's made these two guys run over here to get within three inch of that objective just in that corner. Which will mean that they get to claim it and he's going to try and get rid of these guys currently on the objective. So sir, the only thing you've got to shoot then is going to be your warlord and this lad. That's right. Go on then sir. So he's got two shots. Yeah. Um, I need to remember what... Now they're on three up in one, so there's going to be no point having any modifiers. Okay, uh, so I'm going to wound on two. So two yep. shots on two, wounded on two, so they both hit. Yep. And they wound on twos. How much damage do we do? Oh, um, only one. Oh, I didn't declare what, what, what battlefields were all allowed. Uh, they're HQ. 
Yeah, well, I mean... Are you allowed to declare HQ? Yeah, there's a... Okay, then, yeah, go on then. Um, so you can reroll the one. Yeah. He's cutting back, he's, he's, he's trying, he's trying. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying. He's, he's gone from... I'm I'm playing a, a com I'm playing a normal game too. I'm being a bit competitive now, lads, because yeah. I've done it as well. Let's be fair. Yeah, the free damage each these weapons. Oh Jesus! Really? Yeah, because he's got half fighter weapons. So. And two damage. Both oh. saved. Well done. Last cannons and rockets. Might as well do them all together. Yeah, if they're on the invulns, so that's going to be six shots. Uh, so he needs freeze re-rolling ones. That's a cock dice as well, that mate. So re roll the cock dice first. That's a hit. Those two miss. And when you need twos, and because you've declared, you get to re roll. No. So three of them. All saved. Wow. That wasn't what you wanted there. You're looking at a charge. Uh, yep, yep. With so, your warlord. Um. So... Oh, Contempt is first. The Contempt is going first. Right, we'll do some overwatch. Combat with Dreadnought is going to go first. It needs twos to hit. Twos to hit. Reroll. Uh, Any fails? Yep. Why did you roll them two? But you both hit with both of them anyway. It's twos to hit. Oh, yeah. You picked up a two. <laughs> you think thinking minus hit again. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twos uh, to wound because of strength seven. So they all wound. So it all wounds. How many is that? Uh, five. This might hurt. Two, so one of the warlocks goes down, and then your captain. He has four attacks. Yeah. He's got uh, shock assaults, that's five. Yeah. Um, and we're looking at special rules now. So the captain's swinging in, he needs twos. Re rolling, yeah, nothing. Strength? Uh, five. So he needs threes no, to. Hang on. Six. Strength six, he needs twos to wound. So that's cocked. That's cocked, yeah. Yeah. And what's the damage? Uh, it's actually some weapons, so it's D3 plus 1. D3 plus 1. One goes through, which will kill yeah. a guy, because yeah. it's, uh, it's two wounds apiece. So I've lost two warlocks, hang on a second. So I've taken off certain units, I've consolidated in, I'm not going to attack his captain. His captain, even though it's a warlord, and I could get a warlord kill if I got through, He's on a two up armor, whereas that guy's on a three up armor. So, freeze to hit. Oh dear, that's terrible. Only two hits. Three, uh, twos to wound regardless. Two wounds, two saves a three up. One goes through for one wound. That wasn't as good as what I expected. Right. We've actually just run through my my turn. Surprisingly, when the camera's not on, I do very well. <laughs> so <laughs> he's open fire into the contemptor. He's taken his guy off, but he fired into the contemptor, killed it. Some psychic shenanigans over here kind of messed them up a little bit with uh, doom. When a guy did that, managed to take out some more. Because I've done that, means I'm going to get the kill point. Yep. So that would mean that I go up to six. And I've also we looked at the rules. It doesn't state anything for them in this mission, not for troops, not holding more than one objective. It just says troop models within three. So I've moved across there. They'll claim two, which means I've got another two points at the end of that one, taking it seven to two, meaning I'm five points ahead. So at turn five, if the game ended, Luke could score two points, yeah. meaning it would be seven four. And then end of another turn, it would have to go to the maximum game. But I've murderized that. I'm hurting them. I don't think he's going. No. no so Luke is uh, calling it on that one. We'll roll for the casualties for the campaign. Yeah. And uh, what, what do you think went wrong there, sir? I think uh, you think deployment think, wise, don't you? Yeah, deployment. Um, that Zyphon going down early hurt me. I think if that stayed alive, we could have done yeah. a bit more. Um, I had my uh, contemptors out of range of anything big for two turns, so that was just that was a big mistake, really. I needed those in range to be able to do some damage. I, I do that. think you're dawn. Your guy, you haven't got a lot. A lot of your arm is 24 inches. You picking hammer and anvil allowed me to go. Yeah, I'm not even going to be near you. Yeah, yeah, no. So yeah, I, I squandered like a full turn of shooting, and having those contempt, 
they didn't shoot for two turns basically, they didn't shoot anything meaningful. So yeah. I think if we had a different deployment and I chose uh, Dawn of War, I think there'd have been a fire prison dead turn one, probably another one dead turn two, and it'd have been a different game, I think. Mm. Yes, and me having second turn really, really helped as yeah. well on that game. Because the deployment that you picked on a war allowed me to sit back. And then the fact that I had a lot of psychic shenanigans allowed me to run forward. And pretty much get within range in the first turn. Whereas you couldn't. Yep. In fact the only thing that could fire in the first turn was Zyphon. And he only knocked a few wounds off that wave serpent. Yeah, he, and then he, he got he annihilated himself didn't he? Yep. Oh well. Thank you very much for watching guys. Yep. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button for more. Um, we will be continuing on with the campaign. More one, battles to come. One game left, I believe there's just one game left.